Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for November 9th, 2023. Well, yesterday we had kind of an interesting back and forth seesawing price action in the market, but ended up today um, relatively strong where we held support levels. There was no uh, major selling that came into place. What we may have experienced yesterday is our sell-off or our pullback for the week, the way the markets are acting. If we look across um, things that happened last night, Asian markets were mostly higher, Hong Kong uh, down just slightly. Shanghai was essentially flat. Um, European markets bullish across the board this morning. We've even got oil moving back up here this morning, um, just ever so slightly, um, shaking off those inflation um, deflationary numbers that they saw in China last night. And then um, if we take a look at our bonds, well, um, our, our two-year bond is, is ticking just a little bit higher at 4.95%. Um, 30-year bond is also up a couple of points from where it was at the close of yesterday. So um, right now in the U.S. futures, the only thing we have showing uh, any bearishness at all is the NASDAQ, and it's been coming up here in the pre-market moving higher. So I expect that we're likely to see um, a little bit of a bullish open here again this morning. So what does that all mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and let's try to remove a bias. Let's see if we can figure out how this market might perform today by looking at these charts, how we might want to approach it. Well, if you can look right here, uh, we've got a nice little one, two, three, four day consolidation here in the diamonds. And we're really not making any inroads. The bears aren't making any inroads to push that lower. So we have to give this to the bulls. There's just nothing else you can do here. You've got to give this up. There is no pullback um, in the market, at least at the moment. We're holding these support levels in here. And um, we have broken this downtrend. So the bulls are in control here. Um, it does seem rather remarkable to me that we're willing to chase the market without any rest or pullback, which leaves us kind of a um, uh, uh, in a danger situation if something does slip here. But that being said, when we look at our moving averages here, notice that our 50 um, day moving average is kind of squeezing in on the 200 about to cross down, but you'll notice our eight exponential moving average, our uh, 34 um, exponential all starting to push back up, trying to provide some support underneath here. We've got an accumulation of moving averages in here now showing some good support. And there's every reason to believe that we could pop and move on higher here in the market and particularly to finish out the rest of the week. There is a an energy in here that we just want to go up. And despite the mix that we've been seeing in earnings, it's pretty remarkable that we're holding this kind of energy to the upside. There's just a, a, a desire to buy. Let's take a look at um, our S&P 500. The S&P 500 or the SPY holding in here the same way, if you'll notice um, on my lines, we've been banging our head against this resistance level in the chart. And every reason to believe at this point that we're going to hold this, we'll just keep creeping to the upside. This is a, a very extended condition for the SPY. You'll notice every single one of these days are a little bit higher. So that puts us four, five, six, seven, eight days to the upside. And we're gonna try and extend it here for the ninth, which is an extraordinary push or stretch to the upside. Now, one of the problems that that creates is that possibility that if something does slip here, 
then we have a very substantial pullback that could be on the way because we didn't leave any support levels behind. In fact, what we left behind is great big gaps that could be filled. So be kind of careful here, but there's every reason to believe through the rest of this week, we may just stretch higher because the market wants to go up. If we take a look at um, our moving averages here, you can see holding well above our 50 day moving average. Our 50 day hasn't turned over yet, started turning back up, but notice that eight exponential moving average is racing up here to provide a little bit of price support underneath and our shorter term averages are turning up. So we're creating a zone of support right through here. Um, and so far we haven't had any interest in even retesting um, a support level here in the SPY. So bulls are in control. We may well be up here testing this downtrend here by the end of the week. Let's take a look um, at our QQQ. Our QQQ also hanging in there. We've got um, the uh, futures here on the QQQ showing maybe just a little bit of softness uh, this morning, but like I said, that's been coming up um, here throughout the morning, uh, getting improving. So as you look right across here, well, we've broken the big downtrend here in the chart. We went from oversold to overbought in, in just a few days, and we're continuing to, to extend to the upside with really no rest. Yesterday, like I said, we pulled back might have been our rest and right at the end of the day they surged that right back up to show that hey we're we're comfortable to uh, keep pushing higher here in the market so watch that carefully as we bang our head against uh, this uh, resistance area here we may well push right on through now once again you know, looking at our moving averages um, the danger of continuing to stretch the market this way is that very large possibility it's very common when we break through a 50-day moving average we come back and we test it so um, I guess the market's deciding it doesn't want to do that um, this week, um, but we could see that possibility of a very painful pullback because we've left no support levels behind in this chart as we, as we rally. But you got to admit the eight exponentials moving up here, crossing back up, very, very strong move. So we're providing some price support in this area. If we do pull back, um, hang on, I think we may go higher here. Um, for the rest of the week unless we get some really bad data coming our way. Let's take a look at our IWM. Now here's the interesting thing. IWM has just been absolutely unimpressed. As you can see closing down yesterday it is trying to bounce here this morning. Um, IWM is the only index that did come back and do more of a rational market move. And that would be coming back to test that gap and test a little bit of price support in the chart. And really the reason that is, is because there's no tech giants um, involved in the IWM. Um, there is a willingness in, in the, the Magnificent Seven. It's, it's as if no price matters, just keep buying the big techs, the, the PE ratios, things like that don't matter. The fact that, that Apple has had four quarters of declining sales doesn't matter, just keep buying it. So kind of an interesting circumstance and they control so much weight in the indexes, but only the IWM shows that um, um, other, than, other than big tech, well, um, we're not moving much here at all. We might be getting a little bit of a bounce here this morning and maybe we'll hold that higher low and relief to the upside with um, other things moving up. But keep an eye on this chart. This is by far the weakest of the indexes and continues to be so because we lack those tech giants in here. Uh, failing in its 50 day moving average, kind of slipping back down in, we may get enough push back up here to come back up and see if we can retest that 50 day moving average again if those bulls continue to push. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX would suggest there is no fear in the market that we went from completely fearful. There's nothing to worry about here. We're continuing to drop down here in our VIX um, yesterday, even as we had that selling that was coming in, no fear. And you can see coming down here into about 14 handles. So we're starting to drift down here into this area of 
uh, complacency um, in the market. We've got to be careful with that because if we do stumble at any point in time, the pullback could be substantial and it could be fast and painful. So be watching for that um, just in case it does occur. If the bulls continue to push though, hey, maybe we're going to come on down and test these lower levels. Um, uh, we seem to have an ability to ignore the consumer weakness and just keep buying. Let's take a look at our uh, T2122. Our T2122 out here, if we take a look at that, well, we push back here below the 50% area here in the chart, but you'll notice we've got this little hockey stick uh, pattern right here which would suggest that the selling or the pullback in here could have eased just enough that we get um, that ability to pop back higher here uh, today so watch carefully here what we do know is if the bulls do find inspiration in the data today we have plenty of upside move to uh, to go here and if the bears uh, find something in the market to provide inspiration then we've got plenty of downside as well still to go if that pressure continues um, uh, for the bear. So we'll have to wait and see. But right now, this little hook gives me that um, idea that we could be bouncing back up today. If we take a look at our T2108, our T2108 also showing us that little bit of a hook um, here at the end of the day on Friday. Now, what we did do is we, we did slip down here in T2108 holding um, this area price support. So we did break it just ever so slightly, but we're kind of hanging in there, turning it to the upside just a little bit. 43%, 43.5% of the stocks above their 40-day moving average. That's a remarkable improvement. And uh, particularly be particularly with um, um, some of the things that we've been seeing in the market with so many stocks still declining and, and going sideways. But watching that carefully here, if we were to see bearish activity, we've got some support down here um, that could still hold us. So no particular worries here. A bounce up off of here, we continue to extend to the upside if those bulls find that energy today. Our uh, T2107, well, not quite as happy. Um, remember, um, this is going to um, include um, everything, um, their percentage of stocks above the 200-day moving average. And, you know, if you toss in things like uh, what's going on in the Russell, this is just a little bit softer here. Uh, we broke uh, that support just ever so slightly, but we are putting in that pattern here that could develop into that head and shoulders in that chart. If the bears find inspiration, we certainly could push down because there's not much support in any of this move over here. Uh, we could push on down in the chart, uh, but we are holding this downtrend and um, with the bullishness that I'm seeing in the pre-market this morning, there's no reason to believe that we can't bounce through here as long as the data supports that move. Let's take a look at our uh, T2101. Now T2101 is giving us a hint that the uh, bullish activity in the market may have softened yesterday. We hooked over here just a little bit, but seeing all the bullishness uh, um, uh, coming in here this morning, uh, that may reverse and continue on up. So what we're seeing here is we're seeing the, the bullish um, uh, momentum, um, the breadth continuing to hold to the upside. They're not giving it up at all, wanting to continue to buy. And um, with all of the buybacks and things like that the companies have announced and they're coming out from underneath those buyback restrictions, then um, there's every reason to believe that that breadth may continue to move to the upside. So watch that carefully. If it does hook lower, watch that because if we do, do uh, kind of fade in that bullish momentum, that's when the bears can maybe see their opening to push things back down. If we take a look at our... Um, economic calendar here for today. Well, our economic calendar has got a um, few things that we want to pay attention here, but um, by and large, it's been a really light week on the economic numbers. Um, we've got uh, jobless claims coming in this morning. That will 
uh, that'll be interesting. Consensus is looking for that number to come up a little bit, and that would make the Fed happy if it comes up a little bit. My worry is it might start coming up a lot. So um, watch that carefully here today. Um, we've got Bostic that's going to be speaking. We've got a natural gas report. We've got Barkin speaking here today. We've got a couple of bond auctions to make note of here, small ones, and then the big one here, the 30 year, to make note of here this afternoon. We've got O'Neill speaking today, and then the bigger speech today from Jerome Powell will be at 2 p.m. Eastern time. So keep an eye on that. And then we have a Fed balance sheet after the bell, which well, largely we have been ignoring, so no particular worries there. It's the Powell speech that uh, always um, makes the market uncertain. And then as we progress forward into Friday, thinking about Friday, we get through today, uh, more Fed speak, consumer sentiment, and a Treasury statement out there, uh, very light, n uh, nothing kind of day um, in um, the economic calendar, so that perhaps gives those bulls um, a free, clear rein to just keep pressing into the end of the week. If we take a look at, um, oops, what happened there? There we go. If we uh, take a look at our earnings calendar here today, well, uh, we have quite a few earnings today and we do have some notables here to be paying attention to. Once again, there really are more than I can cover here this morning, quite a lot more than I can cover this morning. So make sure you know to click that link below the title of the video if you want to pick up the full list of notables. I'll run through a couple here real quick. We're going to get some um, some news on some steel here this morning. MT looks like that's trying to hold a higher low, could be trying to pick up here. We've got uh, BDX. Um, this morning, uh, gapping lower on its earnings report, not feeling too happy there. We've got uh, CLNE that will be reporting. Uh, we're going to hear from FLO today, Flowers Foods. Nice little pattern in here, could be setting up for that upside move. Again, some of those consumer defensives have been showing lots and lots of strength. Um, ILMN will be reporting today. We're going to hear from MTD. We've got um, Plug Power will be reporting. We're going to hear from TTD, the Trade Desk. We've got U um, Unity Software reporting today. And last but not least that I'm going to cover here is um, uh, Wolverine, as you can see, not looking so good here um, this morning, gapping substantially lower. So keep an eye on those reports today. Um, again, we've got kind of a mix going on this morning, but doesn't seem to bother the futures at all. They just want to go higher. Let's take a look at our um, some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me this quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you find these videos to be useful if I've earned earned a thumbs up please click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow thank you so much for doing that for sharing these videos out on your social media feed it helps an awful lot and remember even an emoji counts um, as um, a reaction to the video so thank you everyone um, let's take a look at some stock setting up and remember these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You've got to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful in this market and just realize that we are very extended in this price move and that, that a pullback could begin at any time. But right now the bulls just want to keep pushing and stretching these prices um, on higher. So just be prepared for, for about anything depending on how that sentiment rolls out in any of this data. Let's take a look at some of these charts and remember they're not recommendations to buy or sell. Remember that you have to do your own due diligence. You have to uh, follow your trading rules. Never ever blindly follow anything I suggest in a trade. Um, it's never a wise thing to do for any of us. Let's take a look out here. Um, if we take a look 
um, MCD, uh, Mickey D, something I was watching. This was my last alert, and I, I'm bringing this up more of anything to show that pattern that um, I talk about where we break a downtrend, we rally up, we hold a higher low. This is where a trend begins to the upside. That's the only way a trend can begin to the upside is with the first higher low. And as you can see, following through to the upside, looking very bullish, we're reacting right in this area. Notice we broke through that little tiny bit of resistance right here. And now we're resting this back toward the trend. Um, I'd keep an eye on this, uh, folks. If uh, this can hold in here, the bulls continue to push, there's every reason to believe that stretches on up from that area in the chart. Deserves another alert up in there. Let's take a look at stocks like um, Dollar General. Dollar General also holding in here. Some of these uh, discount retailers looking pretty good and I think has that opportunity to move on higher. We've seen um, stocks like Five below continuing to push to the upside looking pretty good holding some support in here showing that bullishness running to the upside again some of that consumer cyclical some of the consumer defensive um, area really starting to show some strength to the upside take a look at uh, Kroger however Kroger just getting thumped on so it's not across the board we've got to be very picky about the charts we uh, trade um, just really got hammered yesterday on Kroger so um, just a reminder that we have to do our due diligence and be very, very focused here on the price patterns in the charts. Um, let's take a look at um, um, whoops, something over in the insurance sector, progressive insurance. Very, very bullish chart. Um, you can see breaking through in this chart, we're moving up strongly. I'm going to go to a weekly and you can see we're trying to hold all time highs here in progressive. Notice all we're doing is resting. We had pretty substantial volatility in this move and now that volatility is starting to shrink and get smaller and smaller and smaller. There's no sellers here apparently in the chart. So I would watch that carefully as we move over here toward trend. Watch for that next opportunity for progressive to move on higher. One of the things that um, you see a lot in the market is 52 week highs um, often make. 52 week highs just continue to do that so progressive looking very very good if we look at um, stocks like aflac also showing lots of bullishness here in this uptrend um, this resting pullback from that high could set up that next opportunity to the upside watch that close on aflac we're seeing a lot of those uh, um, stocks doing pretty well including all state setting up for another upside move as well pushing up here holding support let's see if those buyers step in and push all state on higher watch that one closely some stocks uh, more stocks coming up out of the bottom that consumer cyclical sector chewy making that nice move as you can see i placed a price alert on this chart i'm just waiting for that higher low to come into play we've made that move out of the bottom um, waiting for that higher low wherever that might be to pop that one on higher keep an eye on chewy you might want to keep an eye on um, stocks like um, colgate palmolive breaking through resistance breaking through downtrends working to hold that higher low in here We've got that inverted head and shoulders pattern that's been shown all over the chart here our charts here recently showing that bullishness in the in uh, Colgate so watch those carefully so with that everyone I'm running the video just a little bit long I want to wish you all a fantastic day thanks so much for being here oh you know what there's something I do want to bring up here I'm gonna, sorry for making the video long but I, I don't want to miss this because I think this is important we'll want to keep an eye on this here I've mentioned before how um, bonds have just been so brutal um, sold off in in bonds themselves the bond yields are really high well we're starting to see a change here in TLT um, possible higher low holding in here now I, I'm worried that this stretch right here is a little bit too much 
um, that it may um, still need a bit of a pullback. But watch that carefully. If if we're going to be bullish in the market, we need those bonds to start, those bond yields coming down. We need to see bonds starting to be bought up again. So watch that carefully in here. We've got a bottoming pattern coming up here in TLT. There may be that opportunity that this rests a little bit more but then look for that upside opportunity to come. And I think it could move quickly because institutional um, CTAs are, are, are max short on bonds. Um, if they start unwinding this, it could move quickly to the upside. So watch that carefully. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thank you so much for being here. I uh, truly, truly appreciate it. I want to wish you all of the best and wish you great success in your trading today. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Take care. Have a great one.